permintaan daripada Cik Joey ya untuk prepare GU. GU, okey. GU, GU. GU. Okey. Okey, boleh nampak uh, skrin saya ya? Boleh, boleh. Boleh ya? Okey, ini adalah GU, okey. I think a uh, we we talked about this uh, move and then uh, we talked about a uh, possible uh, US dollar strength okay of course this we we thought due to the FOMC at uh, the increase interest rate but this is more for the flight to safety uh, kind of thing uh, US dollar uh, become a safe haven okay so drop ni uh, kita tak jangka but due to the due to apa tu uh, that's Russia Ukraine issue so this dropping okay so 1.33 uh, acting one more time ataupun a uh, couple of times as a support okay uh, there is a bit of a move up again but i think uh, uk also uh, will face the pressure sebab uk has been quite uh, strongly uh, against uh, russia at this point uh, they are the among the first country to sanction uh, russia among the first country to ban uh, aeroflot okay this is the support Russia punya ally, okay, uh, and immediately Putin uh, retaliated. Oh, uh, uh, you want to ban my my airline? And then Russia straight away the next day they ban British Airways uh, oh. or any or all the all all the uh, UK operated uh, airlines into Russia. Okay, mm. so it's a tit for tat uh, kind of a situation that happening. So what are UK doing right now? Uh, Putin just retaliated. So he just saying okay. What you want to do? Okay, you do it. I also uh, do it kind of that kind of thing. Macam lebih kerana macam budak sekolah lah. Okay, so uh, we are expecting further weakness to, on uh, GBP. Although there is a uh, some much equity ataupun uh, uh, in oil, we saw some kind of a good news. But this uh, I will call it as a dead cat uh, bounce. The bounce is just a temporary. Uh, we are expecting uh, GBP to uh, weaken a bit further. Okay. Maybe not too much, okay? Uh, like probably other currencies, but at least we are talking about 1.32 to 1.31, okay? But if things get out of control, then uh, we probably talking about 130, okay? Because relatively between UK and US dollar, atau GBP US dollar, US dollar is more of a safe haven. So uh, we are expecting uh, this move. So that means uh, I'm expecting maybe there's a test of this broken trend line, and then come come down, okay? Uh, so this will be my move. Whether it come down to straight away to 132 or 131, uh, it depending on the impact of the of the of the uh, issue, the geopolitical sentiment. But the, the, the direction right now looks uh, this. Okay, we, we cannot see any good news because UK uh, <clears throat> they they are very uh, compared to Europe. Okay, because Europe uh, they are still not so strict. Uh, especially Germany, uh, France, Italy, those countries still not so strict. But UK is the first country to take action on uh, sanction against uh, Russia. They are the first country to condemn uh, Russia, atau Putin uh, personally. So that's so Boris Johnson is uh, and uh, all the MPs, atau most of the MPs are in support of Boris Johnson in this uh, situation. And uh, he keeps saying that uh, he will send even needed military. Uh, to Ukraine to, to to support it, okay, if needed. So that's why uh, <coughs> we, we are expecting GBP to, to, to probably uh, get the hit uh, during this crisis as well. Okay? Okay, baik. Terima kasih, Encik Guru Rashid. So itu analisa untuk uh, pair GBP USD, ya. Eh? Hai, selamat malam, Encik uh, Didi, ya. Eh? Okay. Sorry juga eh, kepada semua sebab malam ni banyak isu uh, apa technical isu eh. Okey, Tuan Muhammad Ilyas, uh, China pro Russia cikgu. Yeah, overall dia memang pro Russia, but then uh, <laughs> the one the security council resolution this morning. Uh, it showed that's why it surprised uh, many people. Macam tadi saya ada bagi tahu if I am mistaken it's about 15 members uh, security council members. Uh, of course, uh, there are five superpowers. They are the veto, okay. Of course, uh, U.S., Russia among them, okay. Uh, so, siapa yang uh, apa yang pasal invasion ni, they are vote on the resolution. Of course, Russia 
themselves they vetoed this resolution they didn't condemn them, themselves definitely they won't condemn uh, themselves okay but all the other countries 11 countries voted uh, uh, yes on this but surprisingly uh, china which is the pro russia they didn't vote oh, of course they okay. didn't vote no either they didn't vote no either so what they tana ni so dia ada satu term uh, absenteeism ataupun dia ada satu lagi term i can't remember the exact term okay so china uh, india and uh, uae these three members didn't vote so susah nak cakap sama ada dia orang sokong ataupun tak sokong dia macam ambil uh, berkecuali okay? Okay. tapi okay. you you can take it bila sesiapa yang ambil uh, sebagai berkecuali tak vote that means they didn't agree with the what uh, Russia did it. So that's why China, to certain, that's why it, uh, it caught everyone almost a uh, surprise. But they thought uh, only Russia and China will vote against this resolution. The rest all uh, kind of a yes, ataupun uh, ambil uh, berkecuali lah. Tapi China also uh, stay uh, orang kata, uh, berkecuali. Okay, so that probably sending a message to Putin, maybe, okay, it's, that's how people are reading it. Uh, whatever Putin doing is maybe uh, not so right uh, at this point. Okay, tapi of course China also cannot claim uh, holier than though macam tu sebab dia pun ada isu dia claiming uh, Hong Kong and uh, Taiwan <laughs> on the territory. So that's a totally a different issue sebab kalau dia uh, uh, condemn Russia on this, then Russia will take uh, <laughs> their family. <laughs> Then whatever they're doing uh, at, the, at, the, at the Hong Kong, not Hong Kong, or the Taiwan, is also similar. So Taiwan pun, China uh, uh, masih anggap sebagai teritori dia. Sama macam siapa tu? Sekarang ni dekat Ukraine, certain part, Russia is considering as part of their uh, federation. When Ukraine didn't agree, ataupun they are more uh, pro-Western, ataupun pro-NATO uh, to certain extent, that's why Putin didn't like it. So he is invading. Initially, they thought only uh, the two uh, separatist uh, regime they will take out but since uh, uh, Putin I think planned it quite well okay because the way all the troops coming in from the north from the south from the east okay that means uh, he planned it for so many years uh, the military movement that's why US was so right uh, I think last last week at one and a half weeks ago uh, US intelligence already uh, giving a hint to Ukraine uh, uh, Russia is planning to invade because from the satellite images they already saw I think about 100 to 150,000 troops plus uh, all the, uh, the tankers all the aircraft apa semua tu dia orang dah park uh, strategically dekat Belarus strategy dekat Eastern uh, dekat apa dekat Black Sea tapi saya baru dapat uh, baca message Turkey in a way I think not in support so untuk masuk Black Sea uh, I think uh the, the, the one going is have to go through the Turkey punya waters via the I think Bosphorus, okay? Yeah, the Turkey punya tu. I think uh, just now I, I read it. Uh, Turkey the block uh, any any Russia punya kata, tentera ataupun dia punya submarine untuk masuk melalui Turkey. So that probably give a bit of uh, kata, breathing space untuk untuk Ukraine to to, to sebab once dia punya submarine. Tapi saya rasa ada submarine dah masuk dekat Black Sea. Tapi kalau ada lagi yang banyak masuk, then become a bit worse. Tapi whatever right now, I think the Ukraine, sebab uh, for the last couple of years, ataupun last, especially last couple of months, uh, UK, Europe, US has been sending lots of uh, apa kata? missiles to U Ukraine. Sebab tu, uh, one of the reason <laughs> Putin uh, uh, tak, tak berapa suka adalah pasal ni. Okay? Sebab Bila dia orang dah pre, ah, maknanya dia, maknanya US, uh, UK ataupun European nation, dia orang dah tahu uh, ataupun Russia read it as uh, this NATO countries is preparing with all the missiles so that Ukraine uh, berani untuk masuk NATO. Okay, so bila dia orang buat, of course kalau contohnya kalau saya jadi Putin uh, dengan tak guna akal, okay, I am more emotional. I will say, okay, you want to come into that, then I will ensure I'll try to go perang. But dia bukan NATO, apa, uh, member NATO. So there's no reason for NATO countries to come and help uh, uh, 
uh, Ukraine kalau Russia masuk it's a different story kalau Russia masuk uh, Poland ataupun Romania ataupun uh, even to certain extent Georgia dekat bawah tu ataupun Hungary all those countries ataupun even France ataupun Germany so because there are the agreement uh, NATO tapi pasal Ukraine not a member okay so that's why Putin can take uh, this action okay so that's why uh, the world is condemning uh, US and also Europe nation they are not doing enough ataupun they are not taking uh, action okay just with the sanction and sanctions also not helping uh, anything as at this point Okay, so banyak dia punya cerita dia. <laughs> But again, it's all uh, from those those days from uh, World War II until here. So it's a continuation. Uh, Ni lah cerita dia. But for Ukraine, it's not nothing new. Dia oh, orang okay. berperang dah bertahun-tahun dah dengan Russia. Cuma dia ber- berperang dekat Eastern Region saja dengan Russia. Uh, itu yang bila dia orang makin berperang dengan Russia dekat Central Region tu. Okay, saya rasa lah ada beberapa Russian uh, military ataupun Russian pro uh, rebels they've been killed. Okay, so that's why uh, Putin uh, was very upset on this issue. That's why he wants to take down and put the puppet macam dia nak letak apa pemimpin Presiden Boneka dekat Ukraine. Uh, siapa yang ah. boleh jadi orang kata orang suruhan Putin lah. Okay, baik. Terima kasih Cikgu Rashid.